Yeah, we can clearly see that this is not large enough. Oh, is it? <laughs> Got a missing corner here. Mm. And on the other side, it's just as bad. So do we move everything forward? We could, but this is one of the things about this video. Oh, look at that. We can add pretty much everything now. <laughs> We're talking about green screen and ballet time today. I'm really not a fan of green screen. I've been avoiding that for so long. But a few months ago, we had that super cool gig in Germany. And uh, we were using about 20 cameras. It was high-end stuff, much better than this. But it kind of motivated me to go a bit further because we've been supporting green screen with X and Gold camera server for a long time, but I was never using it. I didn't even know how to use it. So I kicked my butt and I did a few backgrounds, some using just some curves. And yesterday I learned to use Blender to make some cool 3D shapes using my light painting. Uh, as a uh, texture on balls. So I made my background, I made my foreground, and we're going to test all of that today, all of the features about the green screen, and what else? We need the cat also. We knew that this green backdrop was too small, but we wanted to take the occasion to test the new crop feature in the chroma key module. For this demo, we're going to use 12 Canon T7. Okay, let's start from the beginning. To do this, you'll need to install your backdrop and light it as evenly as you can. We didn't do a good job on this one, but that should work correctly. Ready. Once the background and lights are installed, go in the chroma key module and click on the button to take a reference shot. From there, on the reference image, click on a green area that is close to your subject. You'll see the result in real time on the picture on the right. Use the threshold sliders to increase or decrease the tolerance for the selected color to be removed from the image. To fix the problem with the narrow backdrop, click on Crop and adjust accordingly. Please note that everything that is outside of the box is going to be considered as green. On the other hand, you could use this crop for some creative ideas. In the same vein, you can scale down your subject using the scale button. This is interesting for larger virtual scenes when you're shooting in a very constrained area. By using multiple collections of assets, you can let your user select its own set of graphics. To do so, activate Allow User to Change Collection from the Assets panel, and then select the collections you want to make available. You'll need to upload a proper thumbnail for each of the collections. Each collection can have its own series of background, foreground, and color grading. Usually, you create your background images to match with your number of cameras. However, you can also double or triple the number of images and then take multiple shots that are all going to be combined in a single video file. Okay, first shot, three, two, one. Yeah, second one, three, two, one. And last, three, two, one. In this example, we're taking three shots using 12 cameras, using a set of 36 background and foreground images. We're applying the, the background, everything, and it's gonna be ready in a second. And there we go. Okay, so, <laughs> so we get the, the three different shots, but as you can see, the background is always going in the same direction. <laughs> Can I use that to end up the video? Do you think it's a good idea? <laughs> no, it's not. 